Hey guys, so I'm going to show you how to install expansion packs for a Nexus with, into FL Studio. So first thing you need to go find some Nexus, Nexus expansions, which I'm going to use this website. I've checked it and it doesn't have any viruses. So I'll leave a link to below in the description, but I'm going to choose this one, this cold X beats pack, and I'll just download it. and put it in my VSTs folder. I'll just close out of this ad. So once you've downloaded it, as you can see, it's a raw file. So you need to go and get WinRAR and I'll show you how to do it because there was one guy asking in the comments how to get WinRAR. And this is how you do it. You just go to their website and choose the operating system you have and download it and then once you've installed it you just right click and go to extract here and it shouldn't take too long to uncompress and now that you're finished with the file you can just straight up delete it and now to install it you just the easiest way to find the folder is to right click on the fl studio 12 desktop icon and then go to open file location then once you're in here you need to go into plugin vst or wherever you've saved it because you might choose a custom one and then but basically you need to find nexus content go into that and then go into the presets folder and this is where you install your expansion packs sometimes when you install them they don't work for some reason i'm not too sure why but if you know why please leave a comment below and i'll pin it so other people can see but now that it's installed let's go make sure that it isn't actually installed and working so as a quick note you have for some reason if you have fl studio while you're installing the expansion packs it doesn't actually add them so you have to restart fl studio so i'll just quickly do that so now i'll quickly add nexus and here it is and as you can see the cold x beats expansion pack is right here And as you can hear, it's working. So yeah, that's how you install Nexus expansion packs into FL Studio. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.